Hey, what's up everybody? This is Edmund here and in this latest video on how to use OnPay.my, I'm going to show you how to add your Facebook pixel and by the same extension, you can also add your Google remarketing tag if you would like to. It's the same thing, okay? And um, I noticed that this is something that quite some people had asked about and I think it's high time that I create this video. So let's not waste any time. Let's jump right to it, all right? So I want to show you using one of my forms in onpay.my as an example, probably this one, okay? And what you're gonna notice is that when you edit your form, or in this case, it's called Borat in Malay, and uh, let's give it a few seconds for the whole thing to load up, it takes some time. You wanna go to this tab called Code Tambahan, which means additional codes, all right? Click on that, and you're gonna notice that for the first time, you're gonna see nothing at all. There's header, there's footer, okay? And uh, there's also Halaman Terima Kasih, which means a thank you page. After people make the purchase, they will arrive here. And then there's also Halaman Perbayaran. So what we're going to do right now is that I want to show you how to add your own Facebook pixel uh, code over here. All right. And for that to happen, you need to first of all, log into your business account for your Facebook. Now, I'm not going to show you how to create a Facebook pixel and all that. There's a lot of videos about that already. In fact, I probably covered that myself in the past. So at this point, I would expect you to already create your Facebook pixel. So you've not done that just yet. It's actually very simple. In your business.facebook.com, your account, you'll go to this uh, place called uh, Event Manager, all right, or Events Manager. You'll click on that and you'll arrive at a page like this. So if you haven't had created a pixel before, it's very easy. Just go to the left menu on this green icon called Connect Data Source. Data Sources, and uh, you can just make one from here, all right? It's actually that easy. So I'm not gonna show you how to do it. it you can just figure it out on your own, all right? Now, you would have expected to have already created your Facebook pixel, okay? So what you wanna do right now, I'm gonna use this as an example. Click on Add Events. Uh, click on from the pixel Okay, all right, that's not what I'm looking for. Okay manual option. Let's check it out. All right. Okay, not this one Yeah, I have to admit that this is a new interface. So it gets a little bit confusing So let's go to add events uh, from a new website. Okay, this should be it and yes This is the one you're looking for manually add pixel code to website. So click on install code manually and uh, If you look at step one copy code just click on the green button. All right, and once you go back to your onpay.my uh, form over here, this is where we were at just now, we're gonna right click here and we're gonna paste it here, okay? So you see a bunch of quotes being pasted over here. This is your Facebook pixel. Uh, let's select the whole thing, copy it again. Let's repeat the same thing for the other two pages as well, all right? And how long per buyer and uh, let's do the same thing, okay? Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on this button called Simpan Borang or also known as Save. And yeah, we're done, okay? So let's go check out the link here and let's see whether the Facebook Pixel has been installed correctly. Now, at this point, you should have installed this Google Chrome extension called Facebook Pixel Helper. If you don't have it, just Google search it. It's called FB Pixel Helper. Go to the first option and just have it installed, okay? So mine's already installed. You can just click over here and uh, have it installed. It only takes a few seconds. And what's gonna happen is that you're gonna look at this uh, top right icon called the Facebook Pixel Helper. It's gray color right now, which means there's no pixel installed on this particular page. But when I go to the form, you'll see that the page has the Facebook Pixel with this green button. And yes, that means it is done correctly, okay? Now, the next thing you're probably asking is that uh, I want to add an events tag. That means when people make a purchase or when they take a certain action, I want it recorded on Facebook, whether it's a lead, whether it's a purchase. Usually it's purchase in this case, all right? So what you're going to do is that we're going to add an event tag on the thank you page this time. So let's go back to clicking on this icon called Kamaskini, which means edit. I think you know the drill by now. Out of all the tabs here, we're going to go to this place called Kot Tambahan once again. And take note that this is where you have installed your uh, Facebook pixel so far, okay? But what's of interest is that we're gonna go to this Halaman Terima Kasih, which means the thank you page. We're gonna add another code here, uh, or I'll call it the events tag. So I'm gonna just click enter, enter for a while. Now we're gonna add an event tag. Now, where do we get this event tag? Let's go back to Facebook um, business account. And again, I say that the latest interface for the pixel seems a little bit 
complicated to be very frank i prefer the old version but well we can't stop progress so what we're going to do is we're going to go back to add events from a new website install code manually let's click on continue okay they're going to ask you about your advanced matching just say yes click continue and now we're going to install the event code or rather we're going to add the setup code right so if you click on this blue button that's not where i want you to go it's going to be a little bit different i want you to click on the manual option instead okay let's click on that now don't be taken aback by this developer's note so i know it might seem a little bit daunting but what i want you to look for is this code in particular just looking for it for a while all right this is what we're looking for okay script so you might see that there's this full body here that you can actually copy the whole thing if you wanted to but uh to be very frank all you need to do is just copy this uh opener called script and it ends with script okay that's all you need to copy so this is for purchase all right you copy that and you're gonna go back to halaman terima kasih uh, there we are again in the same header you can just paste this all right and that's it now of course you might want to change it like the currency uh if it's us dollars then you can leave it alone but in my case it's malaysian ringgit so i'm gonna put myr and uh, let's just say this thing costs um, for example uh, 67 ringgit okay i'm just making it up i do have products at that price but 67 ringgit is the price here just for the fun of it uh put whatever number you want and uh that's it okay we're gonna click on simban borang and we're done okay so now we have the facebook pixel not only installed we also have the uh, event tag installed so whenever people make a purchase and they arrive at the thank you page facebook will count it as one purchase at value at 67 ringgit so that's really all there is to it and uh, last but not least i'm going to show you one last thing let's go back there again uh, some of you might be doing uh, youtube ads google ads and you need to install the code and uh, again i'm not going to show you how to create that google remarketing tag again there are lo lots of videos about that out there uh, what you want to do is you want to go back to the hater again and you're going to copy and paste the google tag uh, code here as well so it's okay to actually fit everything into the header it's not a problem it can take it so that's totally fine just press enter enter and paste the google code and i'll do it for all the pages as well okay i'm just going to repeat the same thing okay and here we are you don't have to go to the footer at all okay you don't have to go there all right and once we're done we just click simban borong once again and that's it so you can see that it's pretty much the same method if you want to install uh, like linkedin uh, tag uh, google tag uh, facebook pixel it's all pretty much the same way all right so that's really all there is to it